Hello, my name is Jessica Yax, and I was a single term instructor for both an entrepreneurial finance course as well as an entrepreneurship toolkit course. And so in terms of my interest in open education, I actually first became interested in open education when I was a college student. I was absolutely thrown off by the cost of educational materials when I was in school. It was definitely a sticker shock. And I'm also a former high school educator through the Cleveland Metropolitan School District. And I remember really sympathizing with my students that had graduated and would come back in and brag about their freshman year, but also comment on the cost of the textbooks that they needed to purchase for their courses. And so when I was given the opportunity to teach at the collegiate level, I wanted to look for engaging materials that did not increase student costs. And so I actually based both of my courses around podcast episodes, as well as other free online resources. Not only did this not add to student costs, but I also think that it gave the students the opportunity to engage with totally current, up-to-date materials, uh, podcast episodes that were dropped in real time, and then also gave them the opportunity to engage with other listeners all across the world instead of just with the other individuals in their classroom in Cleveland. Not only that, but the podcast continues to be produced. And so the students have the opportunity to continue to engage in the course concept um, as they go about their lives beyond the semester schedule. And so in terms of the advice that I would have for faculty that are just beginning to explore open education, my recommendation would be to start small. You don't need to revamp your entire course all at once. You don't need to throw out semesters worth of work um, on a course that you've developed around a textbook. Instead, you can look for opportunities to incorporate low cost or no cost educational materials slowly. Identify one section, one unit, even one lesson that you can use a low cost or no cost material in, and this will allow you to conduct a mini experiment of sorts and determine if there's any impact to student learning and student satisfaction, and also determine if you like using open education resources rather than thinking that you need to just, you know, scrap your whole course and start over. And so thank you so much for the opportunity to share my experience with open education, and I wish you the best of luck in incorporating open education into your courses in the future.